Hi guys, welcome to this week's video about the Navasola trolley inverters. We have noticed that some of you guys have been struggling to figure out how this product works. Well, if you're someone who doesn't have one and you think of getting one and you're unsure about how this product works, well, today's a lucky day as we have here with us Jandre who will give us a little bit more explanation about the product. This is the Navasolid Trolley Inverter, the TR series. We've got three different models. The one you see in front of you is the 1.5 kilowatt. We've also got a three kilowatt as well as a five. In the front, you can see your four standard plugs, and then you've also got your two USB plugs on this unit. At the back of this unit, you've got your breaker where you will switch on the unit. Uh, you've got some surge protection. You've got your plug where you will plug your unit in to plug it into your wall socket to charge and then on the left hand side you've got your PV input where you can put your shutter panels in as well. In order to put on the Nava Solar Troll Inverter, first you need to remove this pin. Once you've removed the pin you'll see a breaker at the top. You just flip the breaker to the top. And then we'll go to the front of the unit where you can see there's a power button at the front. You just press that power button and then the unit will come on. It does make a sound in the beginning, it's just checking everything is okay with the unit. Nothing to be worried about. Thanks, Andre, for showing us how to turn the inverter on. So one of the first questions asked about this product is how do how do we know that it's going to be charging? What are the available methods for charging? So first of all, this unit you can either just plug it in with the standard plug to your wall socket. It'll take about a one and a half hours to charge. You can also add solar panel to the unit to charge it alternatively through the sun. And you've got an LCD screen in the front which we'll get to in a second, um, which will show you how, how much battery capacity you need. Andre for that easy explanation on how to turn on the inverter. So the next question asked about this product is how do I monitor the battery level and the power usage of this product? So on this unit you can see an LCD screen here in front of you. Right in the middle you'll be able to see the battery capacity. So people have been asking about the noise level of this product. Is it noisy? Will it be disruptive in the household? Can you give us a bit of an explanation on that? So the unit is fan proof, so it's not exactly silent, but um, the, the fans will come on if the unit gets hot, and then if it is cooled down to a certain temperature, then the fans will go off again. So it is normal for the fans to come off and on as the unit is being used. So another common question asked about this product is, does it need professional installation or can it be switched on by the home owners itself? Uh, it does not need any uh, professional installation, it's a portable unit. So, it's similar to plugging in a laptop. You would plug the unit in for it to be charged, um, like not plug in a laptop. Nothing complicated. Okay. The only difference is um, when you want solar panels, obviously you install the install the solar panels. Other than that, no installation whatsoever. So with that, our last question about this product, and I think it's a very important question that I've been asked by a lot of the users. And the question is, how long can this product provide backup they power to household appliances? long your appliances will run on your another solar trolley meter. The easiest way to figure this out is take the watts of your unit. If you do not know the watts of your unit, the easiest way is just Google it. Um, so if you've got a TV of 150 watts, a mini fridge of 350 watts and a laptop of 50 watts. You add this all together and it'll give you 550 watts. Um, I'm timing it by four hours because load shedding these days are roughly four hours. So then you get a total of 2,200 watts. In order to understand which unit of another sort of trolling versus is for you, you take the watts of the battery, and if it is less, then obviously this unit will not last for four hours. If it is more, then the unit will last for longer than four hours. So in the first case, 2,200 watts is less than 960. So in this case, it only last you 1.7 hours. The 3 kilowatt, this will only last you 3.5 hours. So in the end, you'll have to go for the 5 kilowatt, which will last you roughly 7 hours. Thank you, Jandre, for your assistance and giving us a little bit more about the inverter. Well, there you have it, guys. That is your Nava Solar Trolley Inverters. If you do have any further questions, please pop them in. 